Hey, hi, Carver Squad. What you're seeing right now is edited and I put it in front of the video so that you guys know two things before you watch this video. One, I already got G3, but I did it at the end of the stream when I wasn't recording. So if you want to see my battles, if you have me favorited, go to the replays and here are my battles. If you don't have me added, here are some of the battles so you can see the wins. I'm not going to get into them in full detail, but anyways, second thing I want to say, the most important one is a lot of people are asking me, what's the cutoff for C1, C2, C3, G1, whatever rank it is. All I can say is there's a thread under Summer's War in Reddit, and that thread is a cutoff thread. Everyone posts what's the new rank every day. So I suggest you guys go to that thread near the end of the season, the last two, three days, to see if you're at the benchmark for your rank. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey, hi, Garbage Squad. We're back at it again, streaming live on Twitch. So if you haven't already, in the description below is my link. Click that and follow to know when I go live or join my Discord to know when I go live because I post there as well. So if you can see the bottom left, actually you can't see the bottom left unless I unless I try to move myself. Yeah, there you go. 24 out of 30. I don't purposely put my chair there to cover it, but I was, I was warming up on my stream before I made this video and I ended up winning a lot and I only lost to like once I think to like bottom props, which is very disgusting, but Let's just hope this part of my RTA session is going to be filled with those W's because I'm on a hot streak right now. I don't know if it's a hot streak or if I'm actually just crushing because that, that video from two times ago, like I literally just fed my butt off or maybe some bad, bad matchups. But now I think we're doing a little bit better here. Okay. And for those who keep asking me, uh, why are you not G3 or are you going to push for G3? To be quite honest with you, I have I have no desire to try to compete to get G3. It's more of a headache to me, if anything, to compete and try to get it. So I'm not really... Wait, what is this? I actually don't even need to do that. I think this is actually fine. This might be a little bit weird to say, but I actually think this is fine. Okay. Because I'm gonna ban this unit right here. And therefore, if I ban that unit, he has no first turn here. So will that work? I think so. I think it will work. Because the only threat here really is the, the Sierra. So what I can do here is hopefully my ball does not give me a random speed buff and mess up my speed tuning. And if that's the case, I am going to go for the Sierra because the Sierra has a potential to do a lot of deeps. Like this, this thing should not proc, right? It should not proc because there's no way a Garl one shots this, this unit. And then it gives the attack bar now to a Belial, but it doesn't matter because he's gonna get a turn anyways. I already finished my rotation on my team. So his attack bar is literally wasted here. So not banning the Belial is definitely the MVP play here. So this is a crit damage tree on, I think. Which means we are going to... Okay, that's one bottom proc on his side. Keep in mind, one bottom proc on his side. Um, let's go for him. Just one shot you, get that garbage out of here. Bye bye And this should be an easy W. Boom, done. I think, I think G3 right now is 1960 or something. You just gotta play around Abelio. Like, Abelio is good, but you have to like play around it or just straight up in. Okay, I'm familiar with this guy because of his picture, because he wants to be Hokage. So, if I recall, he has LD Nap Ives. If I recall correctly. Like, is like this is a 24 speed lead. Or not even 24, it's a 19. You know, I'm gonna be very manly about this. I'm gonna ban Vanessa, let's last pick through. I assume this Yun Hong is not faster than me. However, if you guys didn't know, Yun Hong's base speed is actually freaking nutty, so. Um, will I outspeed? I mean, 116. It is fast, but. 
My assumption is it's unviolent. That's my assumption. It's unviolent. This is on Swift? Why is this on Swift? Why is this on Swift? No one run- Literally, no one runs a Swift Yun Hong. Except for this guy, I think. What? If I have known this is a Swift Yun Hong, I would have dropped a 33 speed lead. Because there's no way Bastet base speed outspeeds this garbage. Interesting. Is this winnable? Um, maybe if I get a lucky... Okay, never mind. I think this is over. Yeah. So I hope I queue into him again and draft the same thing. <clears throat> like, I would say about 95 or like 90 to 95 of the population runs Bot Yun Hong because it scales so well with his kit. Like, so well. Alright, so we get him again. Perfect. Is actually perfect. So I want to see if this Yun Hong is faster than me. If it is, like, he's got really good runes on this unit. Like, I wouldn't even be mad. If I lose a speed battle, he just has good runes, and also because this base speed's insanely high. It's 116 versus 99, I believe. Oh, Ailu, thanks for the subscription to your Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, let's see it. Can I do it? Can I do it? Okay, so he 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 doesn't want to go to the speed game this time. Okay. So there's two ways to think about it. I can defense break him and see if I can one-shot something. What? This is so fast! Holy... This guy's got his best swift study on. Holy... That's insane. This is a very interesting build. It's interesting. Uh, I'm glancing here. This is like, this is ultra fast. Like, is it, if this is like 200, it doesn't like, 116, that's like 17 more, right? So even with the speed lead, this is like insane. I, I see his comp, so I should have, I should have just banned the Yunhong and left the Vanessa through. That's what I should have done. So now that I know, that his team, like this is like on his fastest swift set. There shouldn't be like a reason why I shouldn't ban this unit. Now that I know that. Like I don't I can't I don't know if it's actually fast swift runes just because it's got really high base speed, but I can definitely say it's fast. Yo, Gyron, thanks for the Twitch Prime, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Yeah, as you can see, like <clears throat> okay, I didn't get the resistance here, so I think that's GG. Okay. So how would I so if I were to replay this, I ban I ban the Yun Hong, I'll let the Vanessa through, and then I just one shot something. I think that is the actual play there. Cause 116 is just too 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 fast to speed. I would need to bring like a fast Kabila, like my fastest Kabila to outspeed that. Because only Kabila has the base speed to com compete with Yan Hong. So that was that was a that was a good battle. Like that was just a battle of room quality but also base speed. That was nice. Um okay. I'm looking to ban the Vanessa right now. I'm looking to ban the Vanessa right now. So he doesn't have the speed lead for the Thor. No, I I fixed I fixed my Kabil. I'll put some runes back on it again. <clears throat> yeah. Not not surprised. <clears throat> if he picks a speed lead, do I lose? If 
he bans my Lucian, it's gonna be a very, very hard match for me to win. Like, very, very hard. Hmm. So it's telling me that he wants first turn with this unit here. I, I highly doubt this was. This is on Swift. I'll play this way. <clears throat> this is definitely a really tough match, I'd say. Every, anytime you have like this type of draft, it makes it very, very difficult. Okay, well if I get a random attack buff here. <laughs> and I do. Alright, I, I lucked I like your dog, Tim. I got a random attack buff. Pretty lucky. But I didn't kill this though. That's one HP. But he has no healing here, so I think we're good. He has no violent proc or he has no multi-hit on this. He can violent proc here, but I think this is on Swift. Therefore. Whoever he wakes up here, he has to wake me up. Oh, hey, never mind. Does he crit me? Crit. <laughs> How did I know? <laughs> How did I know it crit me? Of course. Yeah, I'll just keep pumping you. Okay, there's, there's no way he can bomb. He's on Swift. He has to be on Swift. I saw the attack bar on this. It has to be on Swift. So there's no way he can win here. Right? I mean, I I hope I'm right. Unless he's on Swift. Why are you roping me? Why are you roping me? I should be the one roping you. Why? You know what? Yeah, you can just take a slow, slow lose here. Uh. <clears throat> oh my god! Tons of damage! Oh, never mind. Quick swift death. Okay, nice. Dude. Like, it doesn't matter how low my Garo goes. Because if he can't bomb proc, and he can't because he's on swift. I, I saw the attack bar on his team. It's like maximum. So there's no way he cuts in. Is this the same dude? I think they're the same dude, right? Is, I mean, his picture's a little bit different. Is this the same dude? I feel like this is the same person, right? Yeah, this is the same person. Okay, never have I ever done this before, but we are gonna we are going to cleave him like this. Never ever, wait, I hope these are ruined. Yeah, I think these are ruined. Very good. Very good, I am ruined. Very good, I am ruined, guys. Um. This is the GT comp, but on my tier 2 runes. <clears throat> I don't think his Bastet's fast, to be honest with you. I don't think this is fast because he stole it from me and he's not part of his main team. So I'm, I'm, I'm literally using my tier two runes against this guy. This is my like my B team, my, my for fun B team. Yeah, do you see how my light round does not go right after? <clears throat> Very unfortunate. B tier runes don't cut it here. Very unfortunate. Ah, should I have banned the Bastet then? Maybe. 
Like, I would sped him, but I don't have any follow-up. That's my problem. Yeah, I'm gonna quit- oh, this one. Not worth my time. I'd rather get one more battle in for the video instead of playing this out. Okay. Lagging run, too slow. Too slow, too slow, too slow. I would rather de-rune this team than try it out, just because it's on, like, garbage runes. If I were to use this, it would work out in, like, low-level RTA. <clears throat> if I if I move my main runes over, I wouldn't have a problem. I'd, I'd be speed tuned, but because I'm on like garbage runes, it's really really hard. Like really hard. Okay, let's make the last battle count. So he's just, he's just playing a speed game, okay. For the last one, we'll have a speed game, okay. Triton. Triton. Hmm. Do I respect it? I, I mean, not exactly. I don't think I do. Do I need the additional speed against the Triton? Do I? I think if I do, it guarantees me the win. If I don't, it's a little bit risky. Just because it's a Triton. So I think I want to go for the safer play rather than the other play. <clears throat> yeah. I feel like I kill him doing this. Yeah. Now I should be okay here. Because he can stun my team, and then he has no more rotations after. This is why he don't- oh my god, this is why- I, this is exactly why I don't use Sierra. I don't use Oki because they're literally RNG units. And I say this all the time. If Oki misses his skills, it's a win or a lose situation. You can instantly lose the game, which he just did. That's why people hate Oki, but also love him. Because he's literally garbage if he misses any of his skills. Like, literally hardest of the art. Hardest of the garbage. Like, do you see this? This is probably super fast Triton, but no accuracy. That's my guess. No accuracy here. And yeah, his Sierra misses bomb on my Shimite, but my Shimite literally has not caught on a turn yet, and it wouldn't matter if he dies here. Like, it literally does not matter, because this ball kills his whole team right here. So this Shimite living is not a big deal, to be quite honest with you. Like, it's not- a Gar would have sold this regardless. So the bomb missing is very, very small. Like, Oki missing was huge. Like, it made the game a lot more winnable, like 100% lose for him, basically from like, his, his win rate from like maybe 60%, 50%, whatever, went instantly to zero because of that stupid unit. Okay, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe as always.